Good morning, YMCA members, families, and guests. Today we have a fun Friday video, family fitness video. We are outside. We are going to be focusing on running today because this last week, Wednesday, June 3rd, was Global Running Day. And running is one of the best things you can do for your body and you can do it anywhere. You can do it with family and friends and it's a great way to get exercise. But before you start running at any time, you should always warm up just a little bit with your whole body to get your body ready for that kind of exercise. We are gonna start today with some high knees. And the high knees, you just bring your knee up, bring your knees up. You can start nice and slowly and think about pointing your toe and pushing off the ground, warming up your ankles. When you're ready, you can go a little bit faster warming up those knees you can do this for 10 to 30 seconds depending on what you would like to do those high knees you can hear my feet squeaking in the grass it's still a little bit wet this morning <laughs> well after your high knees we're going to do the opposite we're going to lift your heels up towards your bottom you can again just like before start slowly See how that feels? As you're bringing your foot up, you're stretching the front of your legs. And the, it's called your quadricep muscle. You're stretching the front. And just like last time, when you're ready, you can go a little faster if you like. It's like you're running in place, but bringing those heels up in the back. Again, 10 to 30 seconds here. The next one, we're gonna go side to side. Depending on how much space you have, you can decide how far you want to go. I'm just going to go a few steps for right now. We're just going to shuffle to the side and shuffle to the side. Both directions. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. This time, with the high knees, you warm up the front of your legs. The hamstring curls, you warm up the back. Now we're getting the sides. That's why you have to go both directions. Shuffle side to side again you know you decide how long 10 to 30 seconds we're just trying to get all those muscles warm finally for the last one the stretch we're gonna do some monster kicks all you do is reach out in front reach over with the opposite arm it doesn't have to be high you should actually go very gently very gently on the back of those legs just stretching your hamstrings those muscles on the back of your legs. Again, 20 to 30 seconds. Just reaching. You can always pause the video if you want to do more. Gently stretching. Some dynamic stretches for the back of your leg. And now, after that, we're gonna move on to a little bit more. The first thing we're gonna do is hopping on both feet. Just little hops, little hops, up and down. You're lifting those heels. You can pretend you're a bunny rabbit if you want. Hop, 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 hop. If you want, you can go side to side a little bit and forward and back. I'm on a bit of a hill here, so it feels fun. <laughs> Again, 20 to 30 seconds, you decide all directions. Forward and back, side to side. Good job. The next one, you should feel your heart rate getting a little bit higher now. But the next one, you're just gonna balance. You're gonna pick one leg up and balance. Feel that balance and then switch sides. Other leg up and balance. The reason why is when you are running, you are on one foot. Even when you're walking, you're on one foot at least part of the time. So you have to have your balance. Next, we're going to add to that. If you have any trouble with this one, just go back to the balance. We'll start with that balance, then we're going to hop on one foot. Just like those little hops on two feet, we're hopping on one foot. Again. 10, 15 seconds probably on one foot. 
Then we're going to switch to the other foot. Hopping on one foot. Good job. You might notice one's easier than the other. It shows you uh, which foot is stronger. <laughs> Sorry, my grass is not even, so, you know, you have to be careful of what kind of surface you're on. The last thing we're going to do is putting those together, skipping. Okay, so we're just gonna skip. You decide how far. I'm just gonna go a little bit here. One leg up, and then you can turn around and skip back. Again, depending on how much space you've got, you decide. Think about pushing off on that bottom leg, pushing high in the air, reaching with your arms, and then just going back and forth. Great job. You should feel all warm right now. You are ready to run. What The game we're going to play today, it's very simple. It just depends on how much space you have, but it's a great way to control it if you've got a smaller space or a lot of kids. You can do it with one person by yourself or you can do it with you know 20 kids if that's how many you got around. So what we're going to do is just pick an object that you can see around. Like in this case we're going to start with my garden over here. We're just going to skip towards the garden and then run back to where we started. That's all it is. Ready? We're skipping towards the garden. Touch it with your foot. You have to touch it and then run back to where you started. Okay, and then pick a different object. This time, I'm gonna skip towards the, one of the supports on my deck. Skip, touch it with your foot, and run back to where you started. These distances are pretty short, but depending on the area you're in, you can make them longer if you want. That first time we skipped, the second time we're gonna run both ways. Ready? I'm going to run into the garden, touch it with my foot, and run back. Good job. Then I'm going to run to the deck, run to the deck, touch it with my foot, and run back. Good job. Again, these distances are pretty short. You can make them longer. If you have a group of people, you can time each other and see how fast you can do it. You decide. Finally, one more thing I wanted to mention is, and you can make this as many different places as you want. You can, you know, if you're at a park, you can run to the swing set, touch it with your foot, run back. You can run to the slide, touch it with your foot. You can run to a tree, any object. And if you don't have any objects around, you've got a big open space, bring some or find some, find a pine cone. And everybody runs and touches the pine cone with their foot, brings it back. You invent the game, that, uh, you know, just use whatever space you've got available. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that the YMCA is doing one more, or a virtual run for this summer. It's anytime between now and June 14th. It's called Snaps for Summer. And we will be, it's raising funds for the summer camps at the YMCA and to help kids who might not be able to go otherwise. And that is a, one mile or 5k you can walk or run and um, that money like I said is all used for helping out um, kids in the summer camp um, you can sign up I'll put the link at the bottom you can sign up and you can do that with your family or friends or just by yourself in your neighborhood and it's a lot of fun and it's a great way to keep everybody in your family moving this summer that's it for today and thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoy your run Bye-bye.